back to Kiko Moon. So today I filmed for you guys a brand new sewing project and what we're gonna try to do today is to make a two-piece suit blazer skirt set out of the fabric right behind me. So this fabric is super lovely. It gives me this Tuad vibe slash the Chinese porcelain. I don't remember the name. I'm going to be inserting it right here. Obviously, this is not exactly the pattern that I'm like talking about because these are just like flowers. So the two-piece suit set is going to be composed of a pleated skirt that I've actually already made. I'm planning on making like a blazer jacket out of the rest of this fabric. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you guys right now because I am using this fabric right now as a backdrop. And like I've already started like drawing the pieces out behind. So one fun fact about this fabric is that it doesn't come from a fabric store. I actually went to Ikea and they have this full range of like fabric to make curtains or like pillows and stuff like that. So I think I've talked a lot already, so let's just start creating. Alright, start with a simple rectangle with the length of half of your hips and the height you can really decide on what length you want. I decided 13 inches, however I, it did turn out just a bit long so I would maybe take in an inch. Alright, here I drew for you guys what the pleat looks like from the side. And just take a second just to look at what it looks like. You can pause this video just really to analyze and understand what happens. It's really hard to describe by words, so I thought that drawing it would be the simplest way. So my pleat would be 3.75 inches. I decided that my pleat would be 3.75 inches because if you divide 30 by 3.75, you get eight pleats in total, which I think is a perfect amount of pleat for me. Um, then I moved on and decided that the fold would be 1.5 inches. So for every single pleat, you need four folds. So in total, a single pleat would require for me 9.75 inches. So you want to take that measurement and multiply it by eight pleats. And that should be the length of the fabric needed to do the skirt. It sounds very time consuming, which it is, but at the end, the, the result is super satisfying. So at the end, you get um, 78 inches in length, and then you want to add one inch for the seam allowance, and the height of the rectangle would be 13 inches. Moving on to the belt waist, I wanted mine to be quite long because I wanted like more retro mini skirt vibe. Now here we want to create a trapezoid. You're going to see in the tutorial that mine is a rectangle, but that's because I made a mistake. I should have made a trapezoid because I didn't calculate that the, my hips and my waist is obviously not the same measurement. So you're going to make a trapezoid. The upper length is the length of your waist and the bottom length will be the length of your hips. And I decided that I wanted a height of 3 inches plus I added 1 inch for seam allowance. So that is going to be your belt waist, and you want two pieces of those. Alright, so you can see what it looks like in real life on paper. It's super long, but it is what it takes to make a pleated skirt. Alright, here I laid down all the pieces that I need. So I did it differently for the waist because I did make a mistake of making a rectangle. So here I have, I think, four pieces. But in your case, since you didn't do mis the mistake, you would only have two pieces for the belt. And then we have two pieces for the body of the pleated skirt. Alright, so here is super satisfying because I'm showing you guys how when everything is folded, it really shows what the place will look like. And I think this was my favorite part. So you can see here there are four pleats and that should be the f either the front or the back of your skirt so you need two of those 
One crucial element of making a pleated skirt is to always have an iron with you. I think every step of this tutorial I ironed it. So once all your pleats are folded and ironed, you just want to sew a top straight stitch just to hold all of this together. Then sew the front and the back piece right sides together fully on one side and on the other side you can do maybe just half of the bottom because we need space at the top for the zipper all right for the waist belt i did include this part of my mistake just because i don't want you guys to feel too lost but it isn't that much of a difference actually in terms of procedure and where to sew in your case you would put the two pieces of the belt right sides together and only sew the shortest length together in my case it is a rectangle so the bottom and the top is just the same length. Then open up the fold and iron it down. Choose one side to put all the seam. And if you want to make this really pretty, you can sew a stitch very close to the main stitch. This will create a very neat and clean look to the waist. Then fold the belt and iron it. Now back to the body of the skirt. I ironed open the seams and that will make it easier to sew the zipper onto the skirt. You can very clearly see it here if you don't understand my, what I'm saying. Next we're going to attach the belt to the waist of the skirt and you're going to want to start off where the zipper opening is. And obviously keep, keep in mind that this is right sides together and it is only one side of the waistband. Alright, here I put a painting in my skirt because I thought that it would help you guys see more but it just made it even more confusing so you can just disregard that. Now once you're here, flip the skirt inside out and open the waist like so. You wanted it to be super straight and laid out and start placing the zipper. The start of the zipper should start at the fold of the waistband and this is super important. Doing so will allow you to fold the waistband onto the zipper. Think of it as a sandwich, the bread is the waistband and the zipper is the ham. This will create a very neat look for the zipper and you want it to be hidden so that's perfect. Alright, the last step would be to hem the bottom of the skirt and if you want the waist belt to really hold all together, you can sew the inside waist belt to the skirt. And that's pretty much it, you're done! enjoyed this um, pleated skirt tutorial if you guys want to know how I make the jacket please stay tuned because it is gonna be out next week I believe or maybe the week right after um, and if you actually enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a little heart um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more follow me on Instagram at kelly.vng if you're interested and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye